it's Monday and I can't believe that I'm literally flying to Australia next week and I still have to work today. Just, I'm working until my very last day. I'm literally working and then five hours later I'm leaving for the airport on my last day. I need to get on. I actually have work in my diary this morning on my duty shift. Although I'll be honest, I don't have it checked out from work and I'm only just like logging in to do what I need to do and then I'm off. I'm kind of like, well, I've given three and a half years of like solid, dedicated work. Like you can give me two weeks to do travel prep when I'm not in a telephone call. Gonna miss this little one. Yeah. <laughs> These are all my maybe clothes. And I feel like I'm gonna have to do the thing where you half it and then you half it again. I managed to finish work early at like two o'clock today just cause there was nothing in my diary and I wasn't needed for anything. So I'm going to clear my phone camera roll and just like delete old photos just so I've got some more space for photos when I go, obviously, but that's a huge task. It all needs to go organized into my OneDrive and my OneDrive also needs to sort out. So I'm gonna get a cup of tea, sit down and just crack on with that. But obviously I can't film because I film on my phone. I need to sort my phone out. So there's gonna be a bit of a time jump. It's dark again at 5 p.m. Just going for a walk quickly. I've been staring at the phone for three hours and I'm about to stare at a screen for another two hours at least. But it was, it was terrifying at first because I don't like putting myself out there with doing something that you're not good at. <laughs> last night i have bags under my eyes i'm not sleeping generally because i keep waking up in the night and being like shit i'm not done something really random that literally does not need doing right now the last night i woke up 3am <laughs> i've not booked my sleeper train babe it's in january it's literally two months away <laughs> so i'm tired and my period's coming i can feel an ibs flare up coming because of the stress I'm gonna get a coffee because I literally need to wake up so bad. Get ready for work and we'll just see how the day goes. We'll see. Imagine, it's the week before your backpacking trip. You've been waiting for for over 10 years and you're ill. I feel like I can't take time off work because, like, I'm leaving. <sighs> Such bad timing. <laughs> Timmy, are you joining in? <laughs> You're so cute.
this is a really lovely leaving present from one of my supervisees at work. Oh my god, look at these cookies, they are huge. And she sent the sweetest little card with it as well. I'm going to tear up, quite honestly. Makes me so sad to be leaving. That is so thoughtful. Oh, how lucky we are to be loved. Luckily, I am actually starting to feel a bit better this afternoon. The only thing that is hurting is my throat. Talking's not comfortable, but I'm glad I'm feeling better because I have my vaccine appointment tomorrow, my last one, and I can't really push it back because you need a certain number of time between your vaccine and then when you go. So I'm just gonna have to get it. And vaccines also make me feel a bit shit. We're just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to say I've had a sore throat, some cold symptoms. Um, so I think it'll be fine, but I might wear a mask to be respectful. I've just eaten dinner and I'm probably gonna go in bed, play on my Switch and zonk. is all of the vaccines done, shopping acquired. I need to go home and practice putting everything in a bag and we'll see how much we fit. Okay, this is what we're working with. This is all shit and this is all clothes. Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm currently quite ill with a cold and I've just had three vaccines done so I'm not at my best. This is my bag I've taken on all of my backpacking trips. It's 55 litres plus 10. 65 litres total this and my crocs which have got a pimp up and a little love on tour um what are they called and my biggest packing cube which i'm not 100 percent sure is even gonna fit my bag so i'll cross that hurdle that's where i'm gonna put all of my bottoms and my dresses so i've got i think four shorts two skirts two dresses okay next up i've got all of my tops so i think i've got seven like little plain crop tops. I've got four nicer dressy tops. I've got one t-shirt. This red to my costume is literally just for Christmas day. So <laughs> I've got like the two big ones in. There's a little bit of space. Not a lot though. I'm starting to panic now. Okay, Um, this heavy thing is my hanging washing bag. Oh, this is absolutely not gonna do up. I just got myself a new eye. Like today's not my day. Every time I think of summertime, girl, I think of you. I think of caramel skin, you curly. This is what I currently have it down to. I got all of my toiletries in here, including hair and nail stuff, jewelry, travel plug, sleeping bag liner, cutlery stuff, earplugs, snorkel, tiny makeup bag, towel, shoes, that's got other shit in it too, sun cream, and then four packing cubes. And then this is for my Kankan. I'm going out today to see some friends before we go, like some friends that I've not been able to see in such a long time. So I've just had like, I barely slept again and I still feel run down from the vaccines and I've been having a nightmare with this panic 
packing. I've been panicking about the packing. Like, I thought I'd be fine. I'm a light packer certified. You've seen it before. I'm struggling because I want my home comforts. I don't want to be minimal when I'm going for this long. I really don't. And I want everything to be organised. Because when I get to a hostel, I want to know where my stuff is. I just cannot, I cannot get this, I cannot take anything else out of this pile. I have no idea how people do this in a 40 litre bag. Or maybe I'm just being really inefficient at putting it in my bag. But I need to go now to get the bus, so it's gonna have to wait.